What's up, guys? I do a little Walden Farm video for y'all. Everybody's asking me, always asking me, like, what's my favorite flavor and stuff like that, or what's a good flavor to get, what's a good flavor to try. Maybe they never had access to it, and now they do, or they're gonna order some off of Amazon or something like that. Well, my first experience was the peanut butter. Shit's like, tastes like acid or something nasty, dude. I love peanut butter, so I was like, man, you can't really jack that up. So I bought, I bought it, brought it home, got a spoon out, took a bite of it, and just threw it away. I think I threw it away. I either threw it away or I just set it off to the side and I never touched it again. You know what? It might have been the cinnamon raisin flavor one, too. I think, if they have one. I don't know. For some reason, I want to say it was like a cinnamon or something. Because, you know, I like cinnamon and I like peanut butter, so... I don't know. Anyway, it was the grossest thing in the world. I wouldn't touch any of their peanut butter products. No way. But anyway, so let's get down to business. Syrups. They're all going to be sweet and everything, all nice and tasty. TAF, right? Pancake syrup is the cream of the crop. That's the first one people should try. When they're looking at uh, Walden Farms... Unless they're looking for something savory, but I, I suggest getting pancake syrup first. Get your hands wet that way. Get your feet wet. Is that the word? Is that, is that what you're supposed to say? Get your feet wet? So, uh, I mean, it, it basically tastes just like a pancake syrup. So, I mean, there really isn't much to it. You can use it on everything. I use it on anything from French toast. I put it in my Kamut with uh, whenever I do like a caramel or a chocolate Walden Farms. I use uh, the pancake to blend in as well, just to sweeten it up. Um, I stick it on my eggs. I put it on my pizza. I make a, uh, a, a sweet and spicy sauce with uh, sriracha and, uh, and the pancake syrup. So there's, there's a lot of different things. I use it as a base. I use it as a thickener in some of my shakes sometimes. When I don't want a flavor, I just want to have just something sweet and thicken up. Because it kind of gives it like a, a rich, smooth thickness to a shake. When you add that Walden Farmer's pancake syrup to it. Any, any of their syrups, really. So I kind of like adding that in there. In, in, into it or whatever. Um... Next one, I would say uh, probably really strawberry chocolate and caramel are about even. Caramel is probably my favorite out of the three, but uh, strawberry can be used by itself. So you could do like Let's go back to Kamut, right? You can get some, you can get a big old bowl of Kamut, put some strawberry syrup on there, put a little bit of whipped cream, you're good to go. You really don't have to add that pancake syrup sweetener to it. Where, like, if I was doing like a caramel Kamut or a, a chocolate Kamut, or even both of those on there, I would still add that pancake on there. Just take that bite because the, the chocolate, really the chocolate, but also the caramel kind of has a real strong bite. Like a bitter kind of bite because it's real potent kind of um, so it's good to blend it up not you don't have to blend it blend it but just you know you pour a little bit of caramel on there and then pour a little bit of that uh, pancake right on right on it as well and then as you're eating it you kind of get a hit of both and then of course you're gonna hit it with salt anyway so it's gonna make it it's gonna taste tasty baby but uh you know the caramel it's really not like the little caramel cubes or anything like that. It, to me, it's more like butterscotch. Like if I fucking worked at Walden Farms, I'd be like, "Oh yeah, let's put butterscotch on that label." That's what I would have done. I wouldn't have been like, "Oh yeah, that's caramel. Let's let's make that caramel." Because I, I mean, 
caramel's cool, but it really, I, to me, it tastes like butterscotch to me. Whatever. It, they're both tasty as fuck. Caramel. Oh, strawberry. We're on strawberry, right? So strawberry, you use by itself. I use it in, on top of my cereal. Uh, I'll put it on my, on my pancakes or my uh, waffles or French toast. Um, I'll use it as a uh, flavoring for like a, like a strawberry cream sauce. Like if you sometimes you'll see like my uh, POV cake with a strawberry cream sauce on it. That'll be Walden Farms strawberry syrup with like 33 or 66 grams of fat-free cream cheese. And that's just all, you know, mixed up together real good. Um, and then, that's really about all I use. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll drizzle it on a crepe as well. That's really about all I Oh, and then and, and inside of a shake, strawberry shake, strawberry base shake. I'll put it in a strawberry shake or uh, the red velvet cake shake. I'll use that strawberry sauce. The chocolate sauce. Chocolate sauce, I mainly use it as a, um, what I do? It's either going on the kaboot, if I'm in that kind of mood, which is usually, usually I'm not. Usually I'm doing a, uh, you know, the salted caramel or the strawberry cream. So chocolate's kind of last on that list, which I got a new good new one. Man, I need to do a Kamut video. If you want to see a Kamut video, y'all comment below about it. Um, the chocolate, I love on my fucking Choco Tacos, man. I know y'all, y'all been seeing them. If y'all watching my videos and shit, it's basically, it's a... Blazing Buffalo shaved chicken inside of a tortilla, grilled up, and then I drizzle that chocolate syrup on it. That shit's so good. Oh, I kill that stuff for days, baby. And then I'll put it also in some shakes, like my cinnamon, my cinnamon bun shake or whatever, or a coffee shake or. I have one I haven't posted up yet. It's a uh, it's a chocolate coconut shake, pro, uh, coffee shake, and I use it in there as well. And then blueberry, blueberry I've I've bought before, but I really don't buy it anymore because I really don't use blueberries. And what I would do before. Finish up a shake right there. That was that peanut butter flush shake with some coffee. Yeah, that was good. But uh, so the blueberry syrup, what I do, what I what I used to do is, I put it in a in a pot, a small pot with like, I don't know, 140 grams of blueberries and frozen ones, you know. And I'd let them sit there and simmer to thaw out the blueberries. And I let them simmer inside that Walden Farm syrup. So now I've got myself a nice glazy syrup and blueberries and stuff like that all together. Um, and I'd use that as a topping for crepes or uh, pancakes or, you know, any, any, any of the breakfast things, really. But I really don't buy blueberries anymore. So I'm not buying that blueberry syrup. I don't like the syrup really all by itself. It's okay. As that one that one dude said over on Macro Magic, uh, Josh, Josh Rose, I think he has a YouTube also. Uh, it's real, real sweet, and I, I kind of remember that it being it being really sweet, and so and it's not like a really flavorful berry, you know. I don't know. It just there wasn't anything. It's not. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing worth anything. I mean, it's not bad if you buy it. It's not bad, but other than that, that's all I would have to say about that. So I've got pancake, chocolate, strawberry, caramel, blueberry. 
I think that's it. Okay, that is all. I'm going to wrap it up with just the syrups, all right? And I'll do another video on the dips and the dressings. All right, guys. Thanks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. And I'm out later, folks.